David Swain here with Service Star Realty, and today I want to talk to you about what kind of mortgage I should get for my investment property. Using other people's money is a great vehicle in real estate investing in order to maximize the returns of your investment. We have a whole other video blog on leveraging and appreciation, which I invite you to watch on our website. In this current video, we're going to talk about what types of loans you'll be finding in the marketplace. And by the end of the video, you'll have a general idea of what types of loans work best for you in certain investments and certain situations. Let's just quickly, there are many types of loans out there, but the most common is a 30-year fixed rate conventional loan. They also have 15-year rates, and then they also have uh, interest rates that are slightly lower, but they have a five-year or a seven-year call. Seller financing is also available, and that's usually interest only, and that will have a balloon in it. Uh, sometimes there's loans out there with negative amortization, which also help contribute to the real estate bubble uh, that we've had in recent years, with homes being upside down. This is no longer readily available. What type of loan you're going to get will depend over on your overall investment plan. Next, we'll take a look at some of those situations to see what may work best. Let's say your investment is going up nicely and you can afford to consider a shorter term product. Lower interest rates, interest only loans, loans with a balloon, that's where these, these types of loans would work. Let's say that you're buying a, a particular property and the cash flow would be negative in an amortized loan, but the, the interest only payments will help you be in a break even. You can hold the property for two or three years and in the cash upside, the interest only loan with a balloon payment will work in this situation. If you know you'll be holding this property for 10 to 30 years as a part of your long-term tax savings retirement plan, you need to have a fixed rate loan. It gives you a lot more options. If your retirement is closer and you are looking forward to having a strong income stream with 10 to 15 years, selecting a 15-year loan is often a great idea. Today you're still working and able to afford higher monthly payments and perhaps carry a bit of a negative in order to pay off the loan faster. The extra monthly payments will go towards the principal, reducing the loan faster. In fact, your personal reduction will be approximately double, and overall you will end up with paying much less for that property as opposed to a 30-year fixed loan. Lastly, we will take a look at seller financing. Here you can really get creative and write your own terms. This is a great way when, you're, when the buyer cannot qualify for the loan or has too many loans that the banks will no longer extend credit on a conventional loan or just don't want to take out another loan to affect your credit. Why would a seller carry a loan? It may benefit him not to have to pay all of his tax all at once, but he can pay the tax as he gets it over time. So that's sometimes a good way for the seller to, to, as a reason to sell. This also helps you acquire more properties that the bank wouldn't lend on to take advantage of leveraging without affecting your credit. I hope these things have been helpful for you, and if you have any questions regarding the right way to finance your next investment, we would be happy to talk about uh, your situation and answer any questions or offer suggestions. Thanks for watching.